There's a lot at stake these days. Can't risk somebody flipping on us and blowing the shit up. You hear me? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Snowfall video. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for Snowfall Season 5, Episode 2, titled Commitment. If you're a fan of Snowfall, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Snowfall, you get them. Now, things are getting crazy already, man. Things are heating up on only the second episode. You can tell this season there's going to be major problems between Teddy and Franklin. You can already tell. So it starts off with Teddy, man. We see Teddy um, 11 months ago. He met with the CIA superior. He wanted to wiggle his way back into the operation. You know, we see that he surveilled some people and stuff. Then we see six months ago and we see Avi is interrogating a man about these guns that were stolen and Teddy intervenes. He gets in the middle and then we see the present day. Teddy meets with this agent to chat about getting back into the operation. We see him posing as a repairman at Grady's place and he's scoping stuff out, you know, surveilling things, taking photos and stuff. Grady and Franklin meet up. And he wants Franklin to take him flying up on his jet, you know, in exchange for the price drop. At first, I thought he was going to be like, let me get that jet or that plane or whatever. And, you know, Franklin even thought that. But he's like, no, you just got to fly me up in it. Now, we see Teddy had to meet with one of his guys and he's talking about what he found on Grady. And Teddy really wants back in. So he asked Teddy, he's like, you really think that's a good idea knowing what you did to Franklin's father? And Teddy's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He acted like he had no idea. And he asked Teddy to get Grady in check. Now, when Franklin gets home, Veronique lays out one of her plans. You know, she's trying to move up in this business. And he offered her even more than she could imagine. You know, he promised her the world. He said he's going to give her everything. Now, we see Franklin and Veronique meet with Jerome and Louis, and they want to bring them a deal, a real estate deal. I guess the price for the deal was $10 million. It was a legit deal and everything. It involved moving money from Panama to the States. You know, Jerome and Louis were just iffy about it because they want to do things on their own. But they said they would discuss the details. And then Louis asked Franklin about Rob and he told him that he had to take him out. He had to take care of him since he was on crack. And Jerome, he kind of reacted like, damn, Franklin, for real. But I guess Franklin had to do what he had to do. I kind of liked Rob, though, man. I really did. I wish it didn't have to go down like that. Now we see Gustavo dropping his niece and nephew off at school and we see Teddy walk up to him and inform him that he would be replacing Grady. Teddy brought up Lucia and I thought she was going to come back or something, but I guess that's not going to happen because Gustavo said he let that ghost go to focus on his family. And basically, you know, Teddy just wanted his loyalty in the operation. Now we see Jerome and Louie go to Avi to buy a case of automatic weapons, a whole bunch of guns. And he called them the new Bonnie and Clyde. And they're like, for real? And he's like, no, I didn't mean that part. Jerome and Louie pretty much are the Bonnie and Clyde, man, for real. They've been through hell and back together on this show. And I really hope it doesn't end with one of them dying. But honestly, it might. Now we see Franklin tries to call Sissy in Cuba, but the connection was really messed up. He couldn't hear anything. But, you know, he was trying to tell her that Veronique was pregnant. Now we see Wanda quit the sex line job that she had because, you know, her boss was acting funny, wasn't trying to pay her enough. And then he was trying to get her to party with him, you know, pretty much trying to smash her. And she quit. She wasn't having it. And then she went to go see Leon and she asked Leon for a job. And Leon said, hell no, nah. you were just here in the projects. This used to be you. You was on the pipe. You really want to be around that shit all day. And, you know, Wanda said she has to do something. She doesn't know what else to do. And Leon said, look, you need to figure something else out because this ain't it. Now we see Franklin visit Lee in the projects. And, you know, he just returned from taking a busload of kids to the ocean. You know, he's doing big things for the kids in the community. Leon's trying to step up. You know, they talked about the real estate and stuff like that. And the opportunity that Leon let pass. He's OK with being rich in the hood. He said he doesn't want to invest in no buildings that, you know, white people are trying to take anyways. And they talk about Rob and stuff. And Leon felt like Rob maybe could have got clean. 
And Franklin said, no, it had to be done. You know, he was too far gone. So Franklin said he had to take care of it. And he told Leon that Veronique was pregnant. And he told Leon that they have to remain safe no matter what. So that's why he did what he did. But Leon was happy for your boy Franklin. He was really happy for him. But he did feel like Franklin could have spared Rob. Now we see Teddy sneak into Grady's place and Grady recognized him. And Teddy confronted Grady about stealing money from the operation. Grady felt like he didn't do anything wrong. And Teddy told him straight up like, look, your contract is canceled. You gotta be out of here tomorrow. And Grady pulled a gun out and placed it on the table and everything. And Grady said, wait, you're the guy. So he figured out that Teddy was the agent that he replaced. As Teddy was leaving, Grady said, I know too many secrets that the CIA doesn't want to come out. And he said, your people better think twice about sending somebody to this house again. But later that night, we see Grady getting ready to go to bed. He's taking a drink and then he collapsed from being poisoned. You know, Teddy was slick, poisoned him and everything. And then he crept up in there and he said, your waste costs countless lives. And he said, no, this is not because you insulted me. It's because you're bad at your job. So yeah, Teddy killed him like it was nothing. Dude threw up and then died. Now we see Franklin at his crib and he hears a knock on the door. He probably thought it was Grady or whatever, but it was Teddy. You know, Franklin was surprised. And Teddy confronted Franklin about being in bed with his contact, you know, doing real estate and stuff like that. He said, that's a no-no. You should not be doing that. And Teddy was talking about all the things Grady was doing that he shouldn't have been. And Franklin said, why are you talking about him in the past tense? But Teddy pretty much made Franklin work for him again, and Franklin has no choice. Teddy wasn't too happy about the fact that Grady got in a relationship with one of Franklin's crew, too. He was real pissed off about that. There's a lot of things Teddy was pissed off about. But Franklin called him Reed as he was leaving, and then Teddy says, from now on, you can call me Teddy. And that's the end of the episode. You know, he offered Teddy a cigar and inside of that cigar box was a gun in case he needed to use it. But this was a solid episode, man. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. Comment your thoughts down below. What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else for the rest of the season? How do you think this season will play out? What are your death predictions and everything else? Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all snowfall content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.